Yeah, it's a pretty big menu. You can notice it's like a, a ring binder with a number of Vietnamese and Thai Thai dishes. And pretty much what you would do, you would just, on your order sheet there, <clears throat> you would just write down the number of uh, what you want to get and the size and the amount and stuff like that. But the food here from past experience is really good. Just thought I'd show you guys the actual menu. Pages and pages. Well, so far we have 525. I'm hoping that's not how many items are in here, but oh boy, look at that. It goes even further. We're up to 918. Can you imagine being the chef who has to prepare all those things? So there is my favorite, which is 480. And my assistant is just writing it in. Yeah, you know when you're big like Chris, you have an assistant and thing, you know? Just writing it in and then you come. As soon as you sit down, if you come in the winter, the colder months, you get hot lemongrass tea. In the summertime, you'll get chilled lemongrass tea. And it is pretty much a small restaurant. But we're here for lunch and it's usually very packed uh, dinner time. Yeah guys, so this is the little condiment section here. So you got your chopsticks. No, I ain't even gonna bother with that chopstick. Now give me a fork. But look at that sriracha there. No, that's the garlic chili pepper. Let me show all the inside. Nice. I could probably drink that. And at the back here, we've got a soy sauce. That's the sriracha. Am I seeing that correctly? And hoisin. Boy, you mix that up together. You're looking for a good fit on your plate there. Karen is just putting on her fresh lime juice on there. She got the traditional pad thai, chicken pad thai. And I believe she orders extra peanuts. You gotta get that. It's all about texture and taste as well, but she doesn't do the shrimp thing. So the shrimp is on the side. So you know who's gonna be enjoying that shrimp. Remember, the pad thai comes with onions. So if you don't indulge in the onions, what she usually does is get it on top there. So you can move it aside or order it without the onions. So here is Karen's quick tip. What she's doing, she's mixing in the onions into the pad thai. So the heat from the pad thai would sort of gently cook that onion in there so you don't get that raw onion taste. And with the peanuts, when the peanuts goes in there as well, it's gonna add that layer of texture in there. That's just her tip, people, not mine. Yeah, so I have the sort of stir-fried beef. There's some there's ginger in there, and there's that. Well, it's not exactly sticky rice, but it's white rice with a pickled carrots. We got some sweet peppers, some onions. Back here we got some shrimp. Got a lovely sort of dipping sauce to go in there as well. Quickly show you guys my setup. So I've got my main plate there. Here I've got my little dish with hoisin sauce. We've got that chili garlic sauce, very fiery. And I will go in with some sriracha on top. Yeah, so I kind of destroyed my plate. See, that was very hungry, or compliments to the chef. Trevor, you want to take it. The portions are big, so you can see Karen left back some of hers. The thing is, you just got to tell them and they'll wrap it up for you to take home. These two, well, what was here as well as that, and a bottle of water. Be about twenty dollars plus tax, so it's very affordable. Hey guys, just had lunch over at Food Oba, Vietnamese slash Thai food. Some final thoughts: um, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one service, you're not gonna get it here. Remember, the prices are very cheap, and um, the serving staff, though they seem unfriendly, they're not. It's just that's just the. I'm guessing that's part of their culture. Um, the food is relatively cheap, it is good food, a little bit salty at times, but other than that, good stuff.